All right, people, this is not the news I want to be bringing you. I was actually hoping to do a prediction video for this fight tonight, but unfortunately, I'm bringing you news. It is a boxing channel. This news did break earlier in the day. I'm a bit late getting to it. I've had a lot of... This is the third or fourth time I've had recording this. I've had so much stuff go wrong with the record. I almost feel like this is cursed, this particular video, you know, and I've done other videos today. I've recorded another video, which probably will go up just after this, but god damn, this video was a bit of a job to try and get done. Never mind that, I'm digressing. What am I talking about? Joshua Boazzi versus Dan Aziz. That was meant to take place this weekend. It was going to take place in London at the O2. I was looking forward to it. Many others were looking forward to it. Unfortunately, people, it ain't going to happen. It's certainly not for the foreseeable future anyway. It looks like it's going to be rescheduled, and God knows what may happen. I will read the Sky Sports article here for Baton for you. It says, and I follow, and I quote, I should say, Joshua Boazzi had been set to face Dan Aziz in a crucial light heavyweight clash at the O2 on Saturday night, live on Sky Sports, but Aziz has been ruled out of the fight after trapping a nerve in his back. Uh, Boazzi had been set to... Yeah, read that already. Where are we? Oh, yeah, I'll get the quote here from Dan Aziz. So, he said, and I quote, this is from Dan Aziz, I'm devastated for this to happen on fight week. It still hasn't sunk in. I've never had to withdraw from a fight in my career before. I want to apologise to all the fans, especially those travelling to the fight. I am also extremely sorry to my opponent, Joshua Boazzi, to my promoter, and to everyone involved who has worked so hard on this date. I hope the fight can be rescheduled as soon as possible. Boxer, founder, and CEO Ben Shalom said, and I quote, It's tough to take for everyone involved. I know Dan would do everything anything to be in the ring on Saturday night and for this to happen at this stage is devastating however the health and safety of our fighters must come first my heart goes out my heart goes out to Dan and Joshua who have both completed tough training camps and to the fans with more than 10,000 having made arrangements to come Saturday we will provide an update on the rest of the card and communicate a revised date for Joshua Boazzi versus Dan Aziz as soon as possible. I have seen that they're refunding the fans, so I would assume that means the boxer card is off, which is also a shame because that was actually shaped to be a bit of a decent card. Mick Hennessy Jr. versus Joe Laws, two absolute no-hopers, but nevertheless, you can have some fun at that level. You really can. They would have absolutely went for it. Isaac Chamberlain, who I rate very highly, he's only ever lost to two opponents, a Coley and Chris Bill and Smith, what have both of them gone on to do? Become world champions. He was very competitive against Chris Billum Smith. A Coley, well, you know, we don't really know how that fight could have went if a Coley hadn't have, you know. That was the first time we've seen a Coley really go, you know what, and start holding, 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 you know. And uh, we have seen it many more times since, unfortunately. We don't like seeing that, but we have seen it several times. So that was on the undercard. I was looking forward to those fights. As I said, it was go. I don't know if I already said it, but it was going up against the zone card. It was going up against Jack Catrell, Jorge Linares. A fight that I was just kind of meh about. Catrell has never been one that I've you know jumped for joy to watch. I've nothing against him personally. He seems an absolute gent. It's just his style is not the most endearing to watch. And Linares at this stage is just, you know, he should have called it quits a couple of years ago. He really should have left after Devin Haney. I mean, that was a, he lost, but he was game. He should have just went and said, you know what, yes, I've lost, but I'm still at a decent level, but I'm seeing, I'm, I'm gone. Instead, he's carried on. I think he's lost a couple of times since then, and he's in there against Jack Cattrall, who, you know, again, what is he doing? You know, what is he doing at 140 pounds? At the end of the day, Sam Jones, his manager, is all he can really bring is just, yeah, you got robbed against Josh Taylor. You did. It was horrible. I feel for you. But the world has moved on. It's been nearly two years. We need some new stick. We need something else. Look, we, I, I don't want to just be hearing it robbed against Josh Taylor. It's two years, mate. Move on. Seriously. I know it's bad, but move on. That's what he was going up against. I was more looking forward to the Dan Aziz fight. Dan Aziz, Josh Watsi. That's not happening. So we'll watch. The, we're not watching along, but we'll watch the zone card. This weekend, in terms of the fight, as I said, does this point that it's not happening? I was looking forward to it. I was favouring Boatsy. I thought Boatsy should win, but Boatsy didn't look impressive in his last fight. Dan Aziz has done it the hard way. You know, Dan Aziz, I've said this several times on streams, and I'll say it now in a video for those who don't watch. Dan Aziz showed what you can do if you just apply yourself to your trade, which is boxing. You might have to go on small hall shows for a little bit. But as long as you keep plugging away, opportunities will come. 
So often you hear of amateurs who stay amateur too long. They have the amateur style indoctrinated into them, and they're very different. The amateur style and the pro style are night and day. It will the amateur style will work in the amateurs, where the pro style won't work in the amateurs, and vice versa. They're night and day. You don't want to have the amateur habits indoctrinated into you when you turn over. So many stay amateur so long because they want to get you know a big contract when they turn over. Then as easy as doing it the hard way area english british commonwealth european but he's done it nevertheless and he has got himself to a good level a very improved fighter is dan aziz i have a lot of respect for dan aziz a massive amount of respect for him so i was looking forward to seeing how he would get on in here a world title shot for the winner most likely so there was a lot riding on this fight so i'm unhappy about that i hope dan aziz is okay that the injury is not too severe that he will be back in the ring we've already seen one fighter uh connor coghill i believe his name is i obviously saw him fight hopey price his career has come to an end this week and please god he is crossing everything that he is okay he's been in hospital with a bleed on the brain we're crossing everything here. Every little bone in our body we can cross that he will be okay and come true. But, you know, a tough week. A tough week. And, you know, Dan Aziz, a lot of respect for him, as I said. Hopefully they can reschedule this fight. But saying that, you know, Eddie Hearn gave Box and Social interview a few weeks ago where he was saying that this fight may be off. This was back in September. So did he have some knowledge going in that maybe Dan Aziz wasn't 100%? And, you know, for, if you're Joshua Boatze, you know, you ain't getting any younger either. I think Joshua was 31, 32, there, thereabouts. So he had a chance to fight Dimitri Bivol, didn't take it. Maybe now, because Bivol is looking for an opponent, he has no opponent, would he maybe be tempted to go and say, do you know what, I ain't waiting for Dan Aziz, I'm going to go and fight Dimitri Bivol now. Would he do that? Who knows? Don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like I said, disappointed this fight's not happening let me know, share your thoughts in the comments. Are you like me, disappointed? Let me know. Lads and lastly, smash the like button. I will talk to you. Peace.